Okay. <clears throat> okay, everyone. Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome to another Civilization 5 playthrough. Okay. If you have seen the previous videos, you will know that there was a bloody war with the horrible Carthaginians. Of course, they were crushed very quickly by my technologically advanced soldiers. And numbers. They were easily overwhelmed, losing a total of, I try and remember, because they lost, what, that, they lost a city, okay, so they lost two cities, they, they lost two cities the entire war, and we, we conquered a whole bunch of them, like a lot. I'm sorry for having um, so many silence periods in my videos, uh, I just, whenever I, Whenever I'm thinking strategically, I just go silent. I'm just like, okay, so I, I'm just, I go silent, and, um, yeah. Just if no one knows, I mean, I'm, I'm, I use a MacBook. If, if you don't know, I use a MacBook. Like, a MacBook Air, so I have to, like, so I can't, it's not like a big desktop, so my games I run are, uh, Actually, I run quite a few games on my on this, such as um, well, I run a lot of Steam games, obviously, like obviously. Oh, so yeah, two things conquered: Utique and Hippo Regius. Okay, don't don't mock me about not remembering. It's been like five, like a month. Okay, it's been a while. I wasn't able to post um, a video. I'm haven't posted a video in a while because I've actually had um, st um banned stuff, so I'm a little busy w with that during the weekdays. So I'm actually recording this on a Sunday. Yeah, I think that's the date. That's a problem with summer. You don't just don't know what's going on. Um. Okay, so it seems that we're in debt and our people want to sh all die. Like seriously, it's not good. So, we're gonna need to find- oh, come on, I didn't mean to click that! Okay, we're gonna need to find something that raises happiness, and possibly- Oh! No, that, that just raises happiness. Not- and costs money, so... Let's try to find something good, so... 40- oh my goodness. Um, Coliseum. So what, what's the difference just a circuit? Oh, it's not- doesn't cost anything. We'll go with the circus because that's one that's quicker and it doesn't cost anything. Um, we're gonna go with citizen management. It's on production focus right now. Let's see. Okay, so we get one plus default focus. Oh wow. Okay. Now let's track this city. Um, gold focus. Okay, they're already on pretty much on gold focus. Um. Let's see what I can purchase. I can purchase nothing. I am so poor. Okay, so now we're gonna choose research because we finished the era. Last videos put together were actually an hour long, and it was only a single recording session, just one recording session. So that was quite long. So okay, I have a plan for my for some new videos. Um. So, there are a lot of wonders in Civilization 5, such as the East India Company, Machu Picchu, Chicken Itza, like that, there's a whole bunch in this one. Hagia Sophia, Great Mosaic of Dijin. Don't ma get mad at me if I don't know what that, how, if I did pronounce that wrong. The Grand Temple, I mean, I don't know if that's an actual wa wonder, like, in, from like real life. And then there's the Boro Bidur. Never really been able to pronounce anything. I mean, 
Yeah, and then, like, there's a whole bunch. And I love making them. They're fun to build. And I'm thinking, I mean, I have Minecraft on my computer, because, I mean, it's a good game. Okay? All of you Minecraft haters just don't understand. It's a well-made game. But, besides that, when you ever... I'm thinking about actually building these wonders, like all of the types of wonders in Civilization V, on Minecraft, okay? And when I put them on Minecraft, I will write, like, it, um, the history and how they were built and why they were built. Like, why would someone build a, a castle on the sky? I mean, seriously. Or why would someone? Well, not sky. I mean, so a cat, civilization, a city on a mountain top. Those are these. These are important questions. Okay. Or why would someone build a? Well, most of the most of them are religious reasons, and some are defensive reasons. I mean, there's a whole bunch of reasons actually when you think about it. And yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch of re reasons to build these massive structures, but mostly for religious reasons, because, I mean, it's really just what people did back then. They built things for religious reasons, I mean, just look at Europe's history. There's so many things about war and religion, like, um, let me think, like the Crusades, all those Crusades, there's so many Crusades, but, uh, there's, like, a lot of Crusades, and... Then there were the Spanish Inquisition. There, that's that's a thing. There is um, let me see what other like crazy things have people done for religion. I'm not gonna go into the depressing stuff if you know what I mean. But um, besides from that, um, as you can see, these uh, besides from that, there's but I'm thinking that as I build them, I'm I'm horrible at building. Okay, horrible. Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep pulling up pictures of the Kremlin or whatever I'm building. Okay. Oh my God. No. Okay. I don't understand why people try to repair relationships after you've gone to war. Because I mean, if you do repair the relationships, I mean that is helpful. But sometimes you just don't really want to, just to make them mad. Because if you know you can beat them and they're, and you know they're not going to be building an army, you can just you can make them mad on purpose, so they'll declare war on you and you just whoop them, whoop their butts, right? Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, so as you can see, we have a whole bunch of wonders here. I wonder if there's any good wonders to boost our money, our resources. Like, um, um, well, that would be cool, like, having a terracotta army. Oh, great, we get our free, after our three, over a thousand years, we've finally gotten a great person. Well, a second great person. Right? And, as you can see, our, si we have zero happiness. I mean, we're literally just on the balance. I mean... We didn't even have to kill half the population. That's amazing. You know, guys, since our society is so, so naval-based, I think we need to get a great admiral. Just kidding, just kidding. I know that would, like, kill, like, everyone in there if I were to click that. Everyone in the comments would be like, Kill, you idiot! You never get a great admiral when you have no boats! I mean, I literally have no coastal cities. Um... Besides that, we also have a great scientist, which is always what you want to probably choose. Because, I mean, the great scientist is freaking amazing. So watch. I'm going to put my great scientist over here, and he will just do some pretty awesome crap. And we're also going to set up our catapult for ranged attack in the city. So it, whenever they're defending it, whenever barbarians come in, all, I'll kill you! And then you just kill them all. Because, I mean, they're barbarians. What, they, what are they going to actually do? Has anyone ever lost a city to a barbarian, though? I mean, like, I'm not saying, like, I'm not including being it being raised. Like, it being burnt to the ground. Like, I'm including that. Okay. 
and they just burn your city to the ground. But I mean, like, has anyone ever lost a city to a barbarian? Because if you have, one, either you are doing it on purpose and you're a very impressive Civ player, congratulations, or... That's just intense. Oh my gosh, he built the Colossus in Carthage. Now I just want Carthage, I just want that city more now. Just so badly. And remember everyone, there is a barbarian encampment right here. Just right there. So we're going to have to move our troops in to fight these guys and take them out. And probably we should get a coastal city in here somewhere. Because, I mean, it's pretty good. I mean, right here? <laughs> ah! Stupid mortals. I hate them. But, uh... As you can see, I mean, there's ho there's deer. I mean, there's some actual valuable resources nearby the, um, if we were to build a city there. At least we got gold from it. I mean, that's the only positive. I think, when you think about it, the terracotta, if you have a massive army, the terracotta army will, like, give you a massive amount of, uh, money? Not money, um, um, points. Right? Like, when you think about it. Because if you have a massive army and each unit is unique, and you have like 50 units, that doubles your army size. And each of the, if each of the 50 units are unique, and that doubles your army size, that would be 100 units. And then you get the points for one, getting building the wonder, and two, getting all those new units. Like, seriously, it would be a, it's a really good point builder if you're an army based civilization. Which, as you can see, I'm kind of am, surprisingly. I, I've never really done that. Truthfully, I think we should have actually done the embassy with Carthage now. Because I forgot all about these guys standing over here, starving, like, on this hill, waiting to be able to escape home. Oh, man. That is not good. I feel so sorry for them. You, you, you're a good soldier. I'm not going to disband you because you've got a, a worker, which I kind of want, but I am sorry, comrades. But, uh, okay, besides that, um, we're going to start, we need to start building actual good, valuable base things for our civilization because we're screwed if they, uh, if we keep losing money this fast. Oh, man. This mausoleum of hog. Halle the car says, wait, nope, nope, I was thinking of the wrong guy, um, but we're screwed if that happens, oh no, also bad, also bad, that is not good, oh no, okay, we can go with Hippo Re Hi Carthage, cause I mean, we need the money, oh god, that was, I just saw seven minus for my gold, and I'm like, oh gosh, what happened here, hold up, and then I saw that. There was a caravan waiting to be get orders. So, uh, that was embarrassing. You, what they think, I think they need to add, is make it so that your um, artillery and all gunpowder units have a special attack called, like, pillage attack. And it will automatically, like, whenever you attack a structure, it will automatically pillage the landscape that it attacks into. Right? Okay, so... If you were to have, like, an artillery right here, and there was an enemy, so let me just, like, right there, see, that's, that circle. Okay, I'll get to, I'll talk to you in a second, okay, see, if you have a unit here, and it's your artillery, and, stop it, I'm trying to explain something, you freaking barbaric noobs, die! Okay, I'm calming down. Okay, so you have your artillery. You have... Stop it! Okay. Oh my gosh. Just stop it. Okay, so you have your artillery here. For the... I don't know how many times. Please tell me. Okay. You have your artillery here. And there's an enemy unit here. Okay, and you have to open... Whenever you open fire with a special attack... And it hits this unit, it will pillage the farm underneath it and damage the unit, but just a little bit less than normal. Because 
when you think about it, it would make complete and utter sense to have it so it would pillage. I mean, if you watch battles in World War II and trench warfare, oh, and that's my dog, and that's probably my little brother shutting the door, because, um, yeah, um, if you have your artillery firing, if, and you watch, and you see these documentaries about battles, you see this, all the places that they land, and that they're fighting in, are just this war-torn, destructive mess. Like, there are cities, buildings, ruined, fires. So, my question is, is why in the world does it take two movement points to attack and, and kill the unit and then pillage? Like, it should automatically pillage, because when you think about it, you charge into battle and with your guns and they're, like, shooting. It, it's gonna damage resources. And then bazookas? I mean, they're literally launching missiles, basically, at the at the enemy. I mean, they're gonna blow something up, right? I mean, seriously. Okay, and I did not want you to move. I'm that was just stupid. Okay, so like, why in the world haven't that been added into the game? Probably because this is an older version of it, of the actual game. But it's, I think it's better, okay? It's much better. It's so much more, it's way se more serious. Like, it actually feels like you you are ruling a civilization, and you're not ruling over a cartoon. And also, awesome addition. Giving the barbarians a unique unit? That, that is cool. Like, I was not expecting that to happen. Like, I just was playing the game, and I see this barbarian berserker, and I'm like, what in... Well, bar hand axe, barbarian hand axe, and I'm like, what is that? So I go searching through the civilpedia, right? Wondering what in the world that is. And it says it's a unique unit of the barbarians. And I'm like, that's kind of cool. I would never want to play as a barbarian because of that. I definitely not. Okay, so see these guys, these guys have now healed, now they're just gonna wander around and fortify near my cities, like, just because they can. This guy, he has the high ground. It's over for the enemies down here. Okay, it's over for them. They, they have the high ground. Oh wait! That's the guy that was stuck! Yes! Yes! He's alive! He's free! From the horrible hands of Carthage. I'm still mad at Carthage, though. Yeah. Oh, look at that! We're finally breaking even. Oh, it's the Zulus. Who else likes the elephant skulls? I mean, who wouldn't want elephant skulls on on poles guarding your home? I mean. That, that that shows you mean business, okay? Tell me in the comments, please. Okay, I mean, seriously. Like, it's amazing. Also, awesome shield. But, uh... Look, I mean, look at this. It's amazing how far we're getting. I've never really done war. I, I, I was really surprised when I declared war. Because I know I'd been preparing for it for a long time. Because these filthy, stupid Carthaginians have been colonizing all over my land. And I'm just like, stop it, you haters. It was me. It was stupid. Okay, let's check our technology. I mean, we haven't checked our demographic. Oh, wow. We are five uh, more. We have we are five higher than the average on to science. And then we're second on almost on a whole bunch of other things. Sadly, we don't have the largest army. Not, not anymore. We, we, we don't have that privilege. I, I've actually originally when I started playing with the religions, I was playing and and I was getting them every time I played. But now I don't get them ever. Like I never have gotten. I haven't gotten a religion in like.